Okay, babes. <laughs> Let me get into this, okay? Mm. I go to London for work. And the hotel that I'm staying in is not even a block down from my office. So I'm like, why not walk? I'm gonna just walk to the office. And I'm checking out the street because London is a lot different, you know, on the street. <laughs> so I'm checking out the sites and I have on um, a suit. And this, this guy, I mean, he's, he's fine, right? I mean, he's fine. He walks towards me, but he's smiling, this kind of grin in his face, right? And so I see it and he's like, damn, your hair looks, he's like, I like your hair. He's like, and he immediately says, are you American? And I'm like, New Yorker. He says, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, I got it. He's like, I like your hair. He's like, I'm sorry, he's like, I know you're busy. He's like, and I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. I like the spontaneous situations that I can get into. I kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, that is your thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, so he's like, you like my hair? He's like, you want to go out? This evening, this oh, evening. Wow. wow. So we exchange numbers, I'm like, sure. So this is early in the morning. So all day, at, he's at work, he works wherever, I work wherever. So we're texting <laughs> and we go back and forth. He says, hey, I would love to take you to this hotel called Sea Containers, never heard of it. Sea Containers in this area in London and let's go to the bar. So I'm like, okay. Get dressed at the hotel, I put on a leather dress, thigh high boots, get it together, take a car, I meet him. He immediately, as soon as he sees me, he's like, wow. He's a little bit shorter than me, fine, mm -hmm. whatever. But he's like, wow. He's like, oh my God, he's like, great. So we mm -hmm. hug. Yeah. yeah, we hug. We walk to the bar because now we're waiting for our table. So we go to the bar. It's crowded. It's a sexy crowd. You know, British people. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm into <laughs> it, you know. So I'm giving. We talk back and forth, and it's fine. He's, he's originally from Jamaica. He lived in D.C. He lives oh, okay. in San Francisco now. Oh, okay. and oh, yeah. But okay. he lived. But he was visiting London because this was during September. This was like after summer Labor Day. He's just in London hanging out. Okay, fine. So we're talking, 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 and he says, "Can I ask you a question?" I said, "Sure." What do you ask? I love questions. <laughs> well, that's what I said. I said, yeah. "Sure." What's the question? Yeah. So I lean back. Were you born a woman? Mm. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> Were you born a woman? What wow. was your response? What was your first response? I had a drink in my hand. <laughs> Ooh, you didn't throw it. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I knew immediately I was gonna serve him intellectually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's unpack that, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I do the lean, and I'm yeah, a lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's unpack that, sir. So he wanted to go on a date with you, oh, not yeah. knowing if you were or weren't. Uh, right. mm -hmm. mm. And I show up all this, all that, and so he says, uh, you know, I said, let's unpack that. Where in this interaction am I giving you mail? Explain that. Right. Hmm. Where, where's the masculinity? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His response, mm -hmm. verbatim. Well, it's because this is too good to be true. You're just too beautiful and you're from DC and you have short hair. All the ignorance. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The ignorance. So I, I read it to him. The, uh, put the, the Michelle Obama. Flotus, mm. forever first. I don't care what your leanings are. Mm -hmm. Forever first mm -hmm. is constantly called a man. Yeah. Why do we think that? I mean, so I'm talking to him like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Why do we think that is? He can't even answer it. You as a black man talking to a black woman saying that I look like a man. Mm. What are you saying really? Mm. Mm. Let's, let's get into that. He can't even process this conversation. It's above his head, mm -hmm. which is why I knew for you to come out your mouth like that to me, you are beneath me in your ignorance. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I kept it classy, kept drinking, and actually we sat down at the table. I, I stayed for the dinner. I ordered a $400 bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Run them pockets. Run them pockets. I got a filet, eight ounce, with a lobster tail, okay. tiramisu. Mm -hmm. And champagne afterwards. You're gonna pay for this, and you'll never hear from me again. Mm -hmm. But wow, I was hurt after that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I went home. I went back to my hotel 
as a black American woman in London. I'm thinking I'm doing, you know, this is this is kind of fly, right? And you I'm, were feeling good going. I was right. feeling good. You, you wanted to take yourself. me on a date. Yeah. I put the work in and you, but did he, didn't you kind of like knock me down in a sense? Yeah. Did you have mm -hmm. to put me down to the fact that now you're questioning my gender? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. And I have short hair and I'm from DC. Uh, mm. That's automatic. Yeah, so now I'm a man. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> so how do I, I you know what, I, I will say this. I feel like I fault myself a little bit. I, I do, and maybe like, maybe I'm overthinking, maybe mm -hmm. whatever, but why am I entertaining strange men on the street while I'm walking to work? But let, let's- Well, how, how do you meet people? Everybody's a stranger, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until you get to know them. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Well, that that part, right? She, you didn't do anything wrong in no, this no, scenario. No, nothing. You met someone who entertained you, saw you, was very attracted to you. At least it seemed right in the in the sure. process, yeah, right? Yeah. And it wooed you. Hey, let's do this, and you were excited. There was nothing wrong in that process. Now, what where it went wrong was he was completely ignorant, mm -hmm. and whatever he has in his own mind or honestly racism against his own race, right? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is part of this conversation too. Mm. It's unfortunate. I think I'm. I think I'm taking it in a way that it's my fault only because, in the very moment, because I can see him to this day. He's walking towards me, and I'm walking this way. There was something in his face. Mm. I saw it, and I was just like, mm. like my, like, like my inner, like my soul yeah, was like, yeah. something was telling. Yeah, I can look at somebody and be like, mm, it's kind of, yeah. it's, it's what, something's happening. Yeah. And I felt that when he was approaching me, and I didn't act on it. So you. And so that's why you fault yourself. Now. And that, and this is why I fault myself. Because, yeah, do I deserve to be asked, am I a fucking man? No. No, right. absolutely but not. Did I, would have, if I, if I, if I would have honored the feelings that I felt when I saw him, then I wouldn't even have this story to share. Mm. And that's the part where I'm like, am I not honoring my feelings and my thought process? Mm. Because I felt it when I saw him. I was like, this, I saw it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just didn't feel right. Maybe it took this to understand that. Oof. Right. Okay, so that, you know, a lot of us, we go through life and, like I said, we mess up, right? Mm -hmm. We're people, we're human. Yeah. We're human beings. Mm -hmm. We're not meant to be these mm -hmm. cookie cutter images of perfection. It's not life. Right. But the fact that you went out, you went out with him, entertained him as well, and then you got that, well, now I learned, like, I should have listened to that intuition yeah. that you had. So moving forward. Yeah. yeah. You won't you go through that again. You got a dinner out of it. Yeah. Yeah. champagne. Yeah. I ordered all type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You, what would you, what would you have done if some, if a man said that to you? I've, I've gotten asked that. Have you? I yeah. didn't know that, Sasha. Yeah, by the guy that I told you about previously. He asked, he you asked that? me that. The yeah, it's just the way that he put it was like, I just have to ask because it's just a common thing now. So I just want to make sure. There is that Fuck part. That I, I, I don't, I don't like that. Mm. I'm sorry, like uh, Sasha. You can sit right here in front of me. <laughs> I have no question if you're a man or a woman. Yeah. In conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> in conclusion, fuck him. <laughs> right, but this also goes back to communication. I also yeah. think mm -hmm. it's the way he communicated, right? Because he really put it on you. Are you a man? Whereas the way you phrased that right. other person said it. I which just I, wanna, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, there it's is very yeah. common these days, and I just yeah. want to make sure. Those little like, undertones are huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He explained it. In the right. Okay. We at the bar. Yeah. People leaning over us trying to get right. a drink. Are right. you a man? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> and how does that make you feel in that moment? People mm. are, oh. How are you? Gross. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then it even, um, but my level of confidence allowed me to walk away from that, okay? Good. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Thank you, Good. babes. And don't fault yourself ever. Yeah. Thank you, babes. Always don't hold your yourself. value. Yes. Thank yep. you. Thank <laughs> you for being here. <laughs>